everyone, good afternoon. I'm Chef Novarusa. Now, since I posted my um, photo of how to prepare the roasted coconut for many of my recipes for my dishes, which is like a rundown or capitan, so many have been asking me how to actually prepare it so to, for me to do a video. So, I'm going to show you, right, if you want to do it very authentic way, okay, so you have to get the um, desiccated coconut, you can create it yourself or you can buy a ready made roasted coconut, uh, grated coconut. And after that, you have to fry it until brown, and then, then you have to use pestle and mortar, pound it, and then it's gonna turn into paste, right? So that's gonna take you roughly about 30 minutes or so. But if you want to cheat my way, this is what I've been telling all my students. All you need to get uh, to do is just get the cream coconut block, okay? So I know in Malaysia or Indonesia or even Singapore, wherever in Southeast Asia, right? You probably have, don't have to worry about um, preparing your own uh, roasted coconut. So this is like. It's very handy for, for those who live abroad, like me, for example. So all you need to do is just like a cream coconut block. Get this cream coconut block. So it's, it's nice and solid like this, okay? So you're probably gonna see, right, uh, like a white layer on top there. That. That's actually coconut oil, yeah? So I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna remove from the sleeve. Well, actually, I'm just gonna cut it with the um, plastic so on, like that. So just cut it into small pieces. So for this one, I know in the UK, in the UK it's about like uh, about 80 pence, so it's just like less than a pound. But in uh, one of Hong, the supermarket is about one euro and 29 cents, yeah? So it's still expensive anyway. I mean, for <coughs> for my recipe, it's like uh, that uh, includes like a one kilo of meat, chicken or beef. Uh, you probably need, well, not probably, I mean, you need only half of the box anyway. So, this is enough for two portions of my recipe. Yeah. So, if you want to, can you want to show the pan? Yeah. So, you don't have to add anything, right? Just barely just pan, heat up the pan, and then just uh, put in all this um, roasted coconut that you cut into small chunks. And now I can start smelling like it start roasting already. Okay, so what's gonna happen is it's gonna start melting, and you can see it, right? So it starts turning brown there. So this is what you have to make sure that you don't put on a high heat. So just like a medium heat should be fine. And you can see it start melting now. Yeah. So it start turning brown. So that's all you need to do, right? You just have to leave it for like uh, maybe about five, to five to ten minutes, depending how high your heat is. But you have to make sure that you keep stirring it because you don't want it to burn, yeah? So I'm just talking too much because I just want to make sure that it's not burning. Okay, you can see that it starts smelling and this is when your whole kitchen is going to smell of this roasted coconut. It's a beautiful smell. Don't get me wrong. I know some of you are going to be like very tempt, um, tempted like to get your fingers in and then like uh, try to taste it but that is not a good idea actually, yeah? Because uh, Again, it's gonna burn your fingers and your tongue as well because it's literally just really hot because it's like a, a, a cooking like coconut oil yeah I can see that start turning brown now okay do you have any questions right hi chef hi Masita hello Mani hi, hi Sharifa hi Noaza actually this is a just a quick video um that I'm gonna share with you. And if you want to share with all your friends that who live abroad, overseas, so this is like one of the uh, simplest way how to prepare the roasted coconut, the karise. Yeah, so especially that um, Ramadan is coming with all the Eid celebration as well. Okay, you can see it's, that, it's, that, uh, it's melting now and it's start turning brown, yeah. So I'm gonna let it, uh, let all this, uh, chunks of uh, coconut blocks kind of dissolve so it's melt away okay what's gonna happen is like uh, once you finish cooking this uh, you don't well if you're not gonna use them all right so you can always like keep it keep any leftover and what you're gonna notice is it's gonna turn into a solid block again now that is don't throw it away because um, future if you're gonna cook another chicken rendang dish or capitan whatsoever you can just add in the solid 
uh, roasted coconut because it, again it's going to dissolve. Yeah. Right. Let's have a look at the pan now, so you can see. Now, yeah. So you can see like a, a glaze on the top here. So that's actually a coconut oil, which is good actually for you. So this is almost ready now. I'm gonna turn off the heat now, okay? Because um, the heat that's trapped in this um, roasted coconut is gonna be enough uh, to cook the remaining of this uh, coconut block because otherwise uh, I'm gonna burn the whole thing, okay? Which is not good because it's gonna make it really bitter. So that is a really good color now. Let's see who else online. Hello, welcome salam Tukit Twinkle. Oh, that's a really nice name. Welcome salam Alhana. Assalamu alaikum Abdullah Hamidullah Hey Ivy, I've tried with toasted desiccated coconut Tak tak pecah minyak Yeah, so it's very tricky with the um, Actually when you start pounding it Pound all the ingredients That's when uh, you're gonna see the, the oil, the coconut oil Yeah. So you have to pound it with a Batula soap, yeah, best on Okay, there you go, so that's ready now Yeah so just a small chunk that's still that. So that should be okay. You see that, yeah? You see the glaze there? So obviously that's a coconut coconut oil. So now I'm just gonna quickly pour this. is how you want to prepare the roasted coconut and you see that it's quite runny at the moment because it's still hot okay and uh, so that's the simplest way how to prepare the roasted coconut from this turn it into that okay right so uh, you can share this video with your friends um, with your Facebook friends and I'm gonna upload on my YouTube channel as well uh, uh, no, just Noma Musa TV on YouTube channel and also I'm going to create the link on my website, Noma Musa MFR. Okay, thanks for watching. So I hope you're going to share these tips with your friends. And uh, see you soon. Bye.